Hey folks, Crazy Marty here uh, with a mechanical tip of the day for your RV people out there. Actually, it's more of like an electrical tip. Um, if you're working with a large uh, inverter, you know, when you touch the batteries on there, you're going to get a big spark. Uh, well, that can damage your batteries, especially if you're using uh, lithium ion or or uh, lithium, uh, anyway, lithium, lithium. Anyways, um, what you'll want to do is you want to pick yourself, go, go grab yourself your test light with the good old-fashioned light bulb in there. Not an LED one, but a regular in, incandescent test lamp. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this end and you're going to connect this onto the... You're going to connect this so when you're hooking up your batteries, whatever the last lead is, whether it's positive or negative, uh, I just did my positive, and I'll show you how that was done. You take this clamp and you hook, let's say you're hooking up the, the battery and the last one you're hooking up is the negative. Well, you're going to take this, you're going to put this on the battery and you're going to take this and stick it on the wire between the inverter and your battery and then you wait till the light goes out and then you can connect it to the battery and I'll show you what that looks like so here's your tip of the day we take a standard uh, test light that just has a regular old light bulb in it and we're gonna connect one end of it down here to the positive lead that goes to the battery and now we're going to take the other end of it and we're going to put it on the side where the inverter goes to. So this is the other side of my switch. And now we're going to wait till the light goes out. It's safe to turn on your inverter. If I can do it one-handed, I doubt it. Here we go. Here we go. Inverter's on. And what that does is that keeps from sending a big zap of electricity from your batteries up to your inverter. And it makes everything much safer and better to use. All right. Now that you've seen how that's done, that's all it takes. It Just wait till the little light goes out and then you can flip the switch and you're good to go. That saves a big spark and a chance for damaging your batteries uh, because there's such a, a large inrush of power going in there. It could be, you know, almost 600 amps of power or so that it wants. So that avoids damaging your, your batteries, especially if you're using uh, Battleborn or any type of lithium batteries. In the meantime, I'm Crazy Marty with your mechanical RV tip of the day.